Have you ever found yourself wanting to live in a building that has two pools, one of them heated, its very own restaurants, and is attached to one of Santon's most exclusive and busiest malls? Well, if you have, then this penthouse is for you. It boasts three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and it's on the market for 44.9 million rand. So come with me as we explore this incredible home with outstanding views and the utmost convenience. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Welcome to the 25th floor of the Michelangelo Towers right here in Santon City and coming through your front door you'll find yourself in quite a spacious and open entryway. You've got places for couches, plenty of down lighting and definitely this is the spot if you're buying a 44.9 million rand home to showcase your favorite pieces of art. In terms of utility, we've got this right here. This controls not only the speaker systems that you'll find throughout the house, but also your lighting and your dimming. Also in this entryway is your guest bathroom. The perfect place, which means none of your guests need to walk through any of the bedrooms to find it. The bathroom is incredibly spacious with beautiful marble countertops, under counter storage, and a large mirror that has lighting not only above it, but to the left as well as the right. Now, however, it's time to explore the rest of this penthouse. Coming just off your entry hall, you find yourself in your living areas. And we're gonna start right here in the lounge area. It is spacious and leads directly onto your sitting room, as well as your fully enclosed balcony but it has its own balcony. Floor to ceiling windows, as well as doors that open out onto that balcony that allow you to enjoy the views that can only come from being 25 floors above ground level. Then in terms of utilitarian features, we've got underfloor heating, central air conditioning, and plenty of space for different arrangements of furniture, which often becomes an issue in penthouses such as these. I also love that it flows into the sitting area where you can relax and spend some family time or even have some drinks with friends. We've got a window behind me, not only giving you an incredible view during the nighttime, but letting in lots of natural light during the day. And when sitting here, you get to enjoy the comforts of your lounge area as well and possibly watch your favorite TV show. But if you've had enough of sitting down and you wanna enjoy some cooking or some outside activities, this fully enclosed outdoor patio is just for you. A pair of sliding aluminum glass doors seals this area off from your living areas, but you've got frameless floor to ceiling glass doors that are stackable, opening this up onto your balcony, which is also rather large. Now, in terms of features here, let's run through it. We've got an extractor fan made out of stainless steel with space for a gas bry, under storage, beautiful marble countertops with plenty of extra storage there, and this is your prep area. Behind your prep area, you've got a sliding glass door giving you immediate access to that outstanding view of Santon City. And over here, of course, we can't forget about the chef sink. We've got plug points over there and more mounted up on the wall for you to mount your favorite TV and enjoy the game. We just finished up an incredible rugby game against the Aussies. And of course, we can't forget about the utility features such as all of your lighting as well as your sound system. But I did mention frameless glass doors that let you out onto your patio. It is an incredibly windy night, so the mic quality might suffer. But take a look at what you'd get if you sit out on your astroturfed balcony. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen, 25 stories up. Santon City Tower behind me, you can see what views you're going to be getting. And it is a spacious balcony. Walking from one side to the other, you can definitely utilize this not only for furniture, but for parties, for enjoyment. That is just a little bit more than what we usually see from these balconies, which that enjoyment kind of is limited to a thin strip. Yeah, you've got all this area to make use of. What I love is not only the view, but the down lighting that shoots both down as well as up all the way across. And if you take a peek up there, that's your master suite waiting for us to go explore. But just off this balcony, this office space in the next week. And here we are within our very own office space. So as you can see, spacious easy to fit in a desk as well as a couple of couches. You've got all the mounting points you might need for a TV, 
for your printers or even for your network cables and two pocket doors lead us out onto our dining room area. Now this office has got beautiful bulkhead lighting but it also has an unobstructed view of Nelson Mandela Square from this window and I can guarantee you during the Christmas time that view must be incredible. Now however it's time to explore the dining room area and then the kitchen. Your dining room area is placed seamlessly between the living areas as well as your kitchen with easy access to your I'd say semi-patio, that fully enclosed patio where we saw the gas braai, so your guests can come and go as they please. What you also see from this dining room area is the incredible wrought iron balustrade leading you upstairs to the two bedrooms located there. In terms of utility, you've got a storage room right over there, the kitchen over there, and above us, more recessed LED lighting as well as that sound system so you can pipe your favorite dining room music while entertaining your guests. In terms of space, this is a very, very special spacious area. I know you only see a six-seater dining room table, but that is because it is of the larger styling. Easily could fit in a 10-seater over here and still leave you a space to get to your kitchen quickly and that is where we are headed next. Through another set of double doors, this time with frosted glass inserts, we find ourselves in our kitchen. And the kitchen is a spacious affair to be certain. We've got Caesar stone countertops all the way around and so much counter space that even your biggest of kitchen top appliance collectors is going to be happy. In terms of utility, we have obviously have to have your chef sink. You've got this right over here, which hides away sometimes the messiness of a coffee bar behind a rolling aluminum frame. Then, all the glass cabinetry is illuminated with globes inside. And then when it comes to appliances, all of your box have been ticked by Miele. You've got a four top electric and then two top induction burner here, making six in total. Miele just above it as well, glass extractor fan mixed with stainless steel. And then obviously your double door inbuilt fridge right over here with another coffee station and you really get to take in the beautifully illuminated cabinetry. You can show off all your favorite wine glasses. Now, what would we be doing 25 stories up if we didn't have two windows that open up fully, by the way. I'm going to open this up quickly. Allowing you to really enjoy not only the views, but some breeze during any hours of the day. Now, over here, you've got your inbuilt microwave, oven, and warming drawer. So all the utilities are covered, but that doesn't mean this is all of the kitchen. Because behind me is some extra storage space, and in front of me, you're going to find your scullery, and we're headed there next. When it comes to your scullery, you've got space for two other appliances. Right now, you'll see it being your dishwasher as well as your tumble dryer, a full sink inlaid into that Caesar stone countertop, plenty of under counter storage, space for a microwave, as well as plug points for you to run some of your other appliances. There is a door there as well that leads off to your guest bedroom. Entering this guest bedroom, you find yourself in your walk-in closet. Off to the left is your bathroom, a single vanity, under counter storage, and beautifully illuminated mirrors. On your right hand side, a walk-in shower with a glass door and your toilet tucked away on the left. Walking into the bedroom proper, you'll see a passage off to the left hand side with its very own access, which, which means any guests staying with you won't need to come through the house to access their bedroom as that door exits right onto the lifts, taking you down to the reception area. The bedroom itself is spacious, easily accepting a king with two pedestals on either side, all the necessary plug points, beautiful down lighting, speaker system, and air conditioning in the ceiling, and then windows giving you some of the most magnificent views Santon can offer. And now with the downstairs all wrapped up, it's time for us to take a trip up that staircase and take a look at the two bedrooms upstairs, one of them being your master suite. Come with me. And here we are on the landing of the upstairs bedrooms. This would make a perfect pajama lounge. However, we do have plenty of storage on the left hand corner. And above us, I love these six light panels, almost making it look like you've got a sunroof or skylight, bringing in natural light. But during the day, you will have that natural light from this right over here, a large window panel that opens up onto, well, should I say, just above your downstairs balcony, but still gives you some incredible views of Santon. Now, however, it is time for the first bedroom, and that is right over here. Coming through your set of double doors, you'll find two bedrooms next to each other, perfect Jack and Jill or 
at least his and hers. Both of them have stunning bulkhead ceilings with recessed LED lighting. Both also have their very own central air conditioning. One, however, does come with a stunning balcony and two double doors that open out onto it, giving you incredible views of Santon City. This balcony overlooks your main balcony on the lower level. Your other bedroom might not have that balcony, but it still does have those incredible views from all the windows you'll find placed around it. Carpeted with thick plush carpets, this house is easily warm during the winter and cool during the summer. Both of these bedrooms lead out onto their own walk-in closet area that has got closets both on the left and on the right hand side and even some small display drawers for you to display some of your more showy of jewelry just next to that you'll find the bathroom area this has got a double vanity with under counter storage a stunningly large bathtub recessed in that marble like stone and then that stone and those tiles lead all the way up to the ceiling really solidifying the opulence that the Michelangelo tower gives you through a glass door you'll find your walk-in shower and then there is a toilet as well as a bidet through a door for privacy you know you're in for a treat when you walk into a master suite and the first thing you're greeted by is a hallway because then at the end of that hallway is definitely the pot of gold that we're finding in the Michelangelo Towers. This master suite is without a doubt absolutely enormous, encompassing so much of the upper level. Behind me, you've got your very own, well, pajama lounge of sorts, surrounded almost on every side by a window. You get incredible views during the daytime and at night it looks utterly stunning. Two of those walls, both the one on my left and the one behind me, have sliding glass doors allowing you to get some fresh air in or just stand and observe your kingdom, 25 stories above ground level. Very, very high ceilings, recessed lighting, central air conditioning and a speaker system is just a few of the details we're going to talk about while up here. The second is the size of it. This place is a behemoth of plush carpeting and a king bed looks small in comparison to all the space you get. Another thing you get, and possibly a place that you can arrange some furniture around, is your very own special balcony recess in the corner here that you can open up and no one else gets access to. Now, just off to my left hand side is your master bathroom suite, and we headed there next. Now, your master bathroom suite, as you can see, is hidden just behind some grating with cupboards both on my left and right hand side. There's plenty of storage space. And then you can show off some of your nicer garments or jewelry with these display drawers and the glass inlay. Now, on this side, you've got two plantation shutters that open up, allowing you to speak to your partner while getting ready or choosing outfits. Or if privacy is a bit of a concern, you can always close them up and snap them shut just before you go to the bedroom. Now we get to head off to the bathroom, but before we take a step inside, let's talk about this here. You've got your very own dressing table built in with beautiful lighting left and right. So if you are getting ready, you've got the best lighting available. The master bathroom in comparison has everything you need. More of that lighting, a huge mirror, double vanities inlaid into the Caesar stone, under counter storage, and a glass cube that functions as your walk-in shower with your very own seating inside that shower. Then a bath sunken into more Caesar stone, a left and right heated towel rack, and then behind a door for privacy, you'll find your bidet as well as your toilet. That, however, brings us to the end of this incredible tour of this penthouse right here in the Michelangelo Towers. So let's head downstairs to the office and let's talk about how you could potentially become its next owner. Come with me. But that unfortunately brings us to the end of this incredible tour of an amazing penthouse right here in the Michelangelo Towers of Santon City. But let's recap what we've seen so far. This property is on the market for 44.9 million rand and you'll get three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, incredible open entertainment as well as living spaces, bedrooms and of course those breathtaking views all across Santon City. And that doesn't even bring to bear what else you get when living in the Michelangelo Towers. Two pools, one of them heated restaurants being so close to Sands and City and so many other benefits, including the security. So if you'd like to live in this amazing home, what I'd like you to do is contact Shay from Live Realty and schedule a viewing as soon as possible. 
All of their details are in the link below. And don't forget, you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. It doesn't matter the price point nor the area. We have every single listing all across South Africa. But we'll see you next Friday as we tour more of South Africa's most breathtaking homes. From myself, Chad Rivera, the team at The Home Shopper Show, and everybody at Private Property, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.